Hello and welcome to Weekend Projects, a Make Magazine video podcast. I'm Bree Pettis, and every week I bring you a project that you can make over the weekend. Recently I was at Maker Faire, and I ran into Gareth Branwin, creator of Mousy the Junkbot. I asked him to tell me a little bit about the project. So Mousy the Junkbot is a light-seeking robot. It uses two infrared emitters from actually inside the mouse. And uh, these are the things that usually um, are used to uh, send the signals for the encoder wheels on the mouse, but we've reverse biased them so they become light uh, sensing. And, uh, and then we also, uh, it, it uses an LM386 op amp chip is the brains for this. It compares these two signals of light and tries to equalize them so that allows the robot to become light seeking. There's also a relay in it for a reverse switch. So when you touch this, it'll back up for a few seconds and then go in an opposite direction and then go back to its light seeking behavior. So that's the basics of how Mousy the Junk Bot works. I've got an old mouse, I've got my little bag of parts that I got from Solarbotics, and now I'm ready to make my own Mousy the Junk Bot. If you're a scavenger, you may not even need to go out and buy the parts. You could probably just get them off all the junk you have lying around. I'm going to be following the instructions from Make Volume 2 to make this, but I'm going to make this really easy for you, and I'm going to make a PDF that will accompany this podcast. If you subscribe in iTunes, you've already got it. Okay, I'm in, and now I just need to take out the essential parts that I'm going to use and mod this case with a Dremel so that I can go ahead and get the motors and stuff in there. Okay, let's do it. I've mounted the motors in the section that I dremeled out and I've gone ahead and I've wired up the relay. Relays are really cool because they allow you to switch things. They basically you send a little current through a little bit through it and then it'll switch things over. So it's kind of like having a remote switch. In this case, it's the switch for when we hit the switch here, it'll go backwards for a little, it'll make the motors go backwards for a few seconds. Now I'm going to wire in this little up amp. Okay, I've got it all put together and loose. Let's test this thing. Oh, that's a little bit of a problem. Back to the soldering board. All right, there were a few problems. One was I had the actual infrared receivers instead of the emitters hooked up, so I've got that changed. That fixed it. Then I've got a little bit of a problem in that I, if I could go back and do this again, I would only use, I would only use solid core wire on the eyes and not on the insides because I keep having the problem where I smush it down and some of the little connections break and it's driving me crazy. So solid core only if you need to like form it. Otherwise, always use stranded, you know, the stranded braided stuff. That's much better. Okay, let's get this thing going. When it hits something, it goes backwards. All right, I finished the mouse of the junk bot. I had a little bit of a problem in that I had the eyes switched around, so that instead of going to the light, it was going to darkness. So, but now it's all fixed up, it's all ready to go. It's all, I screwed it back together and it actually looks good. I've got my own mouse of the junk bot. Now it's your turn. Go out there, get the parts, Get all the bits and pieces, put them all together, get the PDF so you can make sure to put it together right, and you can have your own Mouse of the Junk Bot. Take pictures of it, upload them to the Make Flickr pool, and have a great weekend.